What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. So the data mining has commenced for phase three of season of discovery. There's going to be a lot of information coming out over the next couple of days, but one piece of information that we've gotten already in case you missed the preview yesterday is that leveling in phase three is changing and it's going to be a lot better. And it's not going to be leveling just from 1 to 40. Leveling is changing from levels 1 all the way through to 50. There's new ways to level. You're leveling at a different rate. There's tons of stuff to unpack here. So again, let's dive into this post and see what it's all about. All right, so we're here on Wowhead. Leveling changes coming in Phase 3 Season of Discovery, posted 35 minutes ago. In the recent Phase 3 preview, Blizzard highlighted some experience and leveling changes coming to Season of Discovery on April 4th. These changes include permanent experience buffs, removal of repeatable quest turn-ins such as the Troll Tribal Necklaces and Waste Wander Water Pouches, and a new way to level up within the new Nightmare Incursion PvE event. So let's go down and go through all of this information. Get caught up in Season of Discovery. This was a blue post. Players now get the benefit of the Discoverer's Delight experience buff which increases XP gains by 100% for all players through level 39. With the release of Season of Discovery Phase 3, players also gain an additional 50% experience buff from levels 40 through 49. It's a great time to join in the fun and prepare for Season of Discovery Phase 3, whether you're just joining in for the first time or creating and leveling a whole new character. Players can also visit any innkeeper in the capital cities to turn the experience buff off or on. So that is really interesting right there. And then it says, that's right, the 50% experience buff from Discoverer's Delight will be available to all characters from level 40 to 49 as soon as Phase 3 goes live on April 4th. In addition to this, all characters from levels 1 through 39 will also benefit from a 100% experience buff, making leveling alts a breeze. And then we have a slide here from the preview. These are the leveling updates. We're keeping the 50% version of Discoverer's Delight from levels 40 to 49. Uh, lessons that they learned, XP buffs versus adjusted leveling curve. Gnomergan Raid will give a sizable amount of XP, which is really good to know because most of you guys, if you're leveling alts, uh, probably know that running BFD on your lockout is really, really good. It's like at least a level up until around 36, 37 every single time. So it's a really, really nice way to get a boost to your leveling. And we're going to be able to be doing that with Gnomer as well. And then on top of that, we have the Nightmare Incursions. Uh, will be a leveling supplement. So these are basically going to function as like world events out in the world where you kind of jump in this portal. I'm not sure if it's instanced. I'm sure it is. Otherwise, they'll just turn into PvP events, uh, but they're calling them PvE events. So I'm assuming you go into these portals, you do whatever it is, um, and you're going to get a ton of XP and reputation, which you can then later on use to purchase PvP sets. Um, and let's keep reading. Additionally, players will have new ways of leveling up. Killing bosses in Gnomergum will grant characters under level 40 a massive boost in experience, and characters level 25 and over will also be able to gain experience and reputation with the Emerald Wardens by participating in the new world event, Nightmare Incursions. And here's a picture, I'm um, assuming like these are the portals that you're going to find. They mentioned in the preview that there was one in Duskwood, uh, so basically you're going to go into this portal and it's going to be like an instanced PvE event. So to continue on... While there are many ways to level in Season of Discovery Phase 3, there are also a few met methods that are being removed from the game in order to prevent the abuse of spamming repeatable quest turn-ins. Players will not be able to speed level by turning in items such as Marks of Honor, Waste Wander Water Pouches, or Troll Tribal Necklaces. When I uh, completely agree with this change, uh, the problem is with that is that people would stock up like thousands of these and then be level 50 uh, within, you know, a couple of hours of Phase 3 launching. So I think this is a really good change. Um, and let's take a look at this slide here. XP turn-ins and quests, Marks of Honor, Waste Wander Water Pouches, and Troll Necklaces will not function to quickly level from 40 to 49. Being able to pre-quest and prepare for the next phase is great to a point. Banking multiple levels worth of XP turn-ins is not supported in this phase or any other phase. So it makes sense why they did most of this, right? Pre-questing and planning and filling your quest log has been in World of Warcraft forever, for as long as I can remember. Um, and I think that removing items like the Waste Wander Water Pouches and the Troll Tribal Necklaces is a really good change because it kind of takes the fun out of leveling, right? Whether you're leveling spamming dungeons or questing out in the world, I don't think people should be able to bank you know, thousands or, or, or hundreds of those items and be able to instantly be level 50 within a few hours without really playing the game. You know, let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments, but I don't think 
that should be a viable way to level. I really don't. I think that that's kind of cheesy, and I'm really glad to see that they, you know, pretty much got rid of that, but they're not going to be touching, like, pre-questing, filling your quest log, all that good stuff. You can still prepare. You can still, you know, try and get a leg up, a level or two, uh, on, on all, you know, all the other players by pre, you know, planning really well. Um, but I think that these XP changes are a big deal. And I think that they make a lot of sense being able to level from one to 39 with a hundred percent XP buff and then 40 to 49 with a 50% XP buff. It's going to feel really good because for anyone who's been playing WoW for a long time, you know, that levels 40 through 50 can be kind of grueling and, and daunting for a lot of people. So having that 50% XP buff is going to make the pace at which you're leveling just feel that much better in my opinion. So I'm sure there's people who don't want that, but again, at least they added an option to turn that off. If you don't want the XP buff, you can turn it off at any innkeeper and then you can turn it on whenever you want as well. So that's really good. So everyone really should be happy with that change. And I think all around, this is going to make leveling in season of discovery feel really good. You're going to want to be, mo you know, want to play alts. You're going to be more motivated to play alts. The nightmare incursions, we don't really know exactly what they are yet, but they're apparently a PVE event that's going to be used um, as a supplemental leveling thing out in the world where you're going to be able to jump in these portals. I'm assuming it's kind of like a scenario, maybe. I'm not 100% sure what it's going to be, but. You're going to be able to jump in there. It's going to give you XP. It's going to give you reputation with the Wardens. And then later on, as we saw in the preview, you're going to be able to use that Warden reputation to buy a level 50 PvP set, very similar to how it worked in the Burning Crusade. So in my opinion, all of this stuff, really good changes. I'm very excited for Phase 3. There's a ton of data mines going out right now, all this information. So I'm going to do my best to kind of cover everything that's coming out in a video for you guys. Uh, but bear with me. There's a lot to unpack. So just, you know, I'm going to try and keep the ball rolling every you know day over the next few days. We're going to have videos just coming out left and right. So anyone who is enjoying the content, I really appreciate that you're here and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and jump over to my Twitch, twitch.tv slash hammer dance. We're going to be doing a launch day event. It's going to be a lot of fun. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching and listening in. I'll see you all in the next one.